All right, before we get into testing the game and starting to build objects to, that can sort of interact with this world, uh, I want to we want to create a start screen and a game over a win screen. Basically, um, they you, they both are special screens. They behave differently than these screens. But while we're working on creating screens, let's jump over to that real quick. This interface, for the record, is a, is going to go through probably a major shift. Um, so you know. This is a rudimentary uh, way to create special screens. What's cool, what's different about special screens than gameplay screens is special screens do use an eight by eight structure. So they do make use of all that extra data. So they're large files and you can't have all that many of them. You'll be able to have more than two. Uh, there'll be a whole bunch that you can have. Mystic Search has had 16, I think. Um, but we're just going to provide start screen and win screen to show the how this functions uh, for this. Uh, and again, bear with this. This is going to change dramatically uh, and be a lot cooler and easier to use. So first, let's make the character tile set, the graphics that we need for the start screen. And all we're going to do is we're going to load in some text tiles that I've provided for you guys. All right. So I'm going to open up beta assets, graphics. Letters and numbers. Open. And this is just some generic HUD stuff with letters and numbers, standard alphanumeric uh, zero through, you know, exclamation points and parentheses and a couple of fancy little HUD dials, hearts, crystal balls, music notes, sword, shield, lightning bolt, arrows up, down, left, right. Um, selection, like selectors, you know, top left corner, top right corner, bottom, uh, a time symbol, like if you wanted to have how many hearts you had or something. Obviously, you don't need to keep any of this, you don't even need to use this if you don't want to. Um, but I just wanted to create this for a quick reference, because it has a lot of things that most games could probably make use of. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to go to, I don't even worry about the color right now. I'm going to copy it, control C. And I'm going to make a new full tile set because our start screens use a full tile set. Um, all our special screens use a full tile set, which is a full 128 by 128. You could get in here and you could create your own art or you can get in Photoshop and create your own uh, uh, art. And keep in mind that your screen is actually 256 by 240. All right. So usually screens use reuse a lot of assets. They don't literally just use them uh, in place. Like you wouldn't just create a 128 by 128 graphic. But there's nothing to say you couldn't and it would probably be a lot easier to do that. Um, I'm going to paste this in. Um, if I wanted to create some graphics here that I could use, I could do that too. I, I'm just going to make like a start screen and a, and a win screen and just see you win or start game, you know, that kind of thing. Um, for this too, uh, what would this actually look like? I'm going to want a palette where the letters are white. They're showing blue, so that means the last color in the palette would be white, right? Okay. Uh, I'm going to save this over the top of graphic assets, start screen. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna save it over wind screen. Chances are my start screen would look dramatically different than my wind screen. So, you know, they, I, it wouldn't be redundant data. Um, but let's go to our special screens now. And this is the palette that the special screen uses. They, these are, these don't necessarily, you don't need to have a dummy palette. In here. These, this is actually what the start screen uses. It's direct. This is actually what the wind screen uses. It's direct. Um, I'll just go ahead and put black in and you'll see there's my letters and numbers. And we had said that this used the color, use blue. It used the fourth value here. So that I'll make white, the fourth value I make white. And uh, I think heart is red and all the rest of these are, are bluish or something like that. So uh, it was like red and blue, something like that, but you could do anything you wanted. Um, this will now save with my, with my start screen. And in fact, let's say I wanted sort of a darker version for something lower. And then I also wanted a um, completely different version, like red text. And, you know, for some visual interest here, some different colors. All right. So what I can do now is I can make sure that I'm on the zero um, attribute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mouse into place wherever I want. This is the actual, <clears throat> this is the 
This is the actual screen. This is the tile set that this screen is going to use. I'm going to move my mouse to where I want to place a graphic, and then I'm going to choose which graphic I want and make sure that I've chosen which uh, sub palette that I want. Um, so I'm going to want this to say hello world H. I can use my arrow key to go to move it over. Arrow key on my keyboard. Hello world. Exclamation point. And down lower, I'll use this darker one to say, this darker sub palette to say, press start. And then, you know, I'll, I'll use um, this attribute for to like draw some music notes or something. I mean, who doesn't like a good music note? So now I have a start screen and I can set my song for what song I want to play for a start screen. Right now you don't have any loaded. So that's, that's my start screen now. And I go to my win screen and don't forget I made the same, I, I made a duplicate of that tile set. I could have totally different tiles on the win screen if I wanted. Um, and I can even, I could definitely have, so maybe like I make, yellow like gold letters for the windscreen um and uh, heart and there and i'm just gonna make a you win so I'll put my mouse where i want it and start clicking uh press the right arrow key you win exclamation point and you know hearts maybe for the windscreen because who doesn't love hearts? Um, there. So now I've got a start screen and a win screen, and they're both super simple. And that's how I can use these special screens. Um, it, they're, this is a really rudimentary interface, and we want to make it much more uh, comprehensive so I can like grab a cluster of tiles and paste it in here and things like that. Uh, but at least for now, we can make a really simple start screen and a really simple win screen. Uh, and next, we're going to look at creating uh, our player object and testing this whole thing out.